Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Today, we're going to draw a Majungasaurus. Majungasaurus is a genus of dinosaurs that lived in Madagascar. They looked rather peculiar, with short forelimbs, long hind legs and sturdy cylindrical bodies. Their most important feature was on the face. We can see on this model that there are some red parts, which were actually keratinous structures, that protected its head. These keratinous structures mainly concentrated its eye sockets and nose. So when drawing, it's necessary to show the different textures of keratinous structures and the flesh. In addition, there was a very short horn between their two eyes, which was also a big feature of Majungasaurus. Draw this part clearly to highlight their features. Now let's start to draw the Majungasaurus. We draw its head first. The head of Majungasaurus was thicker and taller, a bit like the Hfganotaurus. It had small eyes. Here are its nostrils. We can draw some keratinous structures above its nostrils, which covered the upper part of its skull. Including the eye sockets, it was a relatively thick piece of keratinous structure. Another feature of Majungasaurus was the single horn between the eyes, which was very small. It had very small teeth and a relatively thin lower jaw. The head is almost finished now. Then it's its neck. The starting point of its neck was upward and the neck was thick and long. Draw a little fat on the lower part of its throat and the neck had very thick muscles. Let's draw its trunk then, which was longer. Here's the pelvis. Let's start with the hind legs. The thighs and the muscles on them. These are the knees, shanks, ankles, soles, and the toes for walking. Then we draw its chest and shoulders. Now, we draw the front claws. Their front claws were very short, with four fingers on them. Then there is the belly. The end of the belly went all the way to the knee height, about this position. This is the outline of the side of the belly, with a membrane attached to its legs. Then we draw another leg. When they were standing, from this angle, most of the other leg was blocked. draw some shadings. Then extend back, here is the ischium. Draw its tail backward. The end of the tail was relatively stout and well muscled. There was a thin line about the upper one third of the tail, which was where the upper and lower muscles of the tail were distinguished. We can draw some large scales on the sides. 
because many of the saurids had this kind of scales on the side of the body, which could extend all the way to the bottom of the tail. We can draw little thorn-like bumps on the back, Although there is no clear evidence, the fossils of their close relative, Carnotaurus, suggest that there might have been spikes on the back of this kind of dinosaurs. Then draw the ears. Good, like this, we are done with this Majungasaurus.